My people could not defeat the Orc Horde. Only a handful survived to carry on the fight. I was one of those unfortunate few. Only the kindest and most pure of Middle-earth's inhabitants still remain. And now the shadow of the Dark Lord prepares to fall upon them as well. At last the Dark Lord's iron fist encircles the innocence of the Shire. There will be no escape for the hobbits from the war that now enters their quiet borders. The last free men might attempt to aid them, but all must face an overwhelming enemy. Warg riders and great war beasts mass for the attack, and none left alive can withstand their power. Perhaps at last the Dark Lord himself shall come forth to gloat in his triumph. Perhaps then, with Gandalf, we might sell our own lives most dearly. In desperation, Treebeard leads the final march of the Ents. With their aid, and with many halfling archers, perhaps the Shire can resist for a brief while. Those ranks think they're safe in their little hobbit homes. Burn up those little grass houses.
Master Shire! Leave nothing standing!
of the wizard. Let's make this slaughter complete. Fall to the blade like the rest. History is no more for this happy race. Their hobbit holes are now tombs, their party trees kindling, and those who survive are now enslaved by the Dark Lord Sauron. Treebeard was in the end no match for the fury of the orcs. He now serves as a bonfire into which halfling bodies are thrown. 
Even the great wizard Gandalf could not stand before the Dark Lord. He has fallen and cannot be restored. His purpose here has ended. Those who did not fight in this war shall now become the final victims. Their homes shall be burnt, and the future of their children shall be sacrificed upon Sauron's cruel altar. Death and ruin are all that shall remain, for the Dark Lord's cruelty will know no limits, and in the end all shall be destroyed. For now the darkness has covered all living things, and it has claimed us all.